Hello, happy DIYers and woodworkers. Mayanna here with Heartwood Art. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the angle cuts for these geometric shelves, just like this happy hexagon shelf. Now, these are 60 degree angles. Of course, you can't cut that on your miter saw, but what you can cut are two 30 degree angles. And then when you put them together, they make a 60 degree angle. Now there are two ways to do this. You can make a straight 30 degree miter, and that's what the miter saw is set up for here. Or the better and I think safer way to do this is make a 30 degree bevel cut. And I'll show you both ways in this tutorial. Hey, if you like these tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and look above or below it for tips on how I actually made these things too. And come on over and see me at heartwoodart.com for more tips and tutorials. Okay, let's get busy with these cuts. It's all about the angles. Both triangle and hexagon shelves can be made with a 30 degree cut on your miter saw. That's because it's all about how you make the boards. The interior hexagon angle is 120 degrees, and it's made when combining two butt-end boards at 30 degree angles. The triangle has 60 degree interior angles, and it's made when combining 30 degree angles butt to face. Now there are two ways to set up your miter saw for these 30 degree cuts. A miter cut set to 30 degrees works on any saw and a bevel cut only works on a compound saw that can tilt. Now this is my preferred way and I'll show you why in a moment. So the first way I'm gonna show you is to simply set your saw to cut a 30 degree miter angle. The back guide of your saw is a straight line, which is 180 degrees. Now because the blade of your saw is 90 degrees in reference to that back guide, when you set the saw to the 30 degree mark, you're actually changing the angle from 90 on one side to 60 degrees. And that makes the angle on the other side 120 degrees. And I used a digital square to ensure the angle was dead on 120 degrees. And I just find it easier to place the digital square on the more open side to ensure my blade is perfectly aligned as precision matters with these cuts. Now, while this type of cut works, there are some limitations and safety issues with doing miter cuts this way for these shelves. First, you're limited in the width of the board that you can use, as it has to be stood on end, and the top of it has to be below the bottom of your blade when it's raised. Now, that doesn't make for as stable a setup as laying the board flat. Second, there are limited clamping opportunities to hold the board to the back fence, of the saw. And clamps are needed as you don't want to put your hands that close to the blade while cutting. Now the only place I found a clamp was very near to the saw itself, which is not ideal, but it can work. So let's do this. Make your first cut on the end of the board to miter it to 30 degrees. Then flip the board away from you. Then measure and mark the outside dimension of your shelf and then move the board into place. Now, as you can see, my cut length is so short that I had to clamp on the intake side and can't use a stop block. That's inconvenient and can lead to inconsistencies too. Then make your next miter cut. Now that's gonna give you a trapezoid with 30 degree miters slanted toward the center on each end as shown here. Then flip the board away from you again. Measure for the inside of your shelf dimension or move the board to your stop block if you found a way to use that and make your next cut. And hey, if you like this cool miter saw station, visit Heartwood Art to see how I made it, including the lumber support shelf that has cubby holes for storage. Okay, let's do the bevel cuts. And this is my preferred way to make these cuts. And here's why. You're not limited on board width. It's safer to lay the board flat. And you have normal clamping opportunities for safety too. So set your saw to zero degrees so that it's parallel to your fence. And then tilt it to the 30 degree mark 
on your bevel gauge. And that will actually be 60 degrees because your saw is actually 90 degrees to the table surface. And 90 minus 30 equals 60. And I love this magnetic digital angle finder. It's the best way to ensure your angle is spot on and even the good ones are only about 20 bucks. So let's make this cut. Cut off the end of your board for that first bevel. Then flip your board away from you. Measure and mark for the outside length of your shelf. And then move the board into position. Carefully check that you're on the line. Now if you have a stop block, clamp it on now. This makes it so easy to get exact length cuts every time, no matter which way the board is flipped. And this is another big reason I like doing bevel cuts over miter cuts. And then make your cut. And then flip the board away from you and either measure for the inside dimension of your shelf or just move it down to your stop block and make your next cut. Now, as you can see, having a stop block will radically help you avoid mistakes with measuring as you would have to alternate measuring the inside and outside dimensions of your shelf each time you flip the board. Or just be super careful to always measure either the long or short side each time. Well, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to come on over and see me at heartwoodart.com for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you in the shop.